Hello guys, it's uh, May 29th, 2017. Um, sorry, I've been a little slow on um, putting up the videos. Um, it used to be every Friday, but now I'm just kind of doing it like during the weekend. Um, but yeah, I'll still give you like weekly updates. Um, so around here we have the daffodil, which as you can see has begin to to die back the pot is still heavy so it's there's still water inside um, so the the color changing of the leaves is a natural process it's not because it's drying out or anything summer snowflake is doing well too as you can see this one is still dying back it's taking a while but as you can see most of it is almost gone now the pot is a little bit light but still mostly heavy and all of these over here are pretty much done dying back I'm gonna put these away pretty soon all of these you see over here they're all pretty much done dying back succulent over here is doing well too that IV plants is okay and the bad news with the herbs as you can see um, and then the bad news is as you can see the rosemary is completely dead lavender is in the process of dying as well um, I would have to look into this well I got this two new plants over here the rosemary and the lavender so I'm gonna replace them um, but I would have to look into the reason why it's it's dying so quickly I still think it's root rot but we'll see I'll have to dig this out and then we can examine them together and over here, the lily is doing well. There's still a lot of aphid. Um, oh, there's flowers right there. It's not focusing. As you can see, there's, I think I see three flower bulbs. Is there flower over? Yeah, there's one flower over here, as you can see. So, so I'm guessing we have a lot, we're going to have a lot of lily flowers uh, this year. Right here, you can see another one over there lily flowers and it's like sticky because there's aphids producing their um, little dews right there you can see a flower too and then this one um, the hydrangea right here is doing well as you can see this one it's going to be kind of pink right here little hydrangea is doing very well um, right here the what is this the ficus, I don't know, it's not doing so well. I have to look into this too. There's a lot of things I need to do. But yeah, I'll have to do that pretty soon. Um, almost, the catnips is doing well. Um, I think they're probably going to flower soon. Those are catnips too. And then this one, the Venus flytrap. As you can see, there's two flowers. Um, yeah, it's doing well. And then this one over here is doing well too. A lot of new leaves. Um, not sure if they're going to open up. Like when the leaves mature, they're going to open up like this, kind of. Like there's a hollow um, cavity in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait for them to mature and show them to you. The raspberry. Um, lots of flowers right here. Let me check. Yeah, it's not properly pollinated. As you can see, there's only a few um, fruits on this one. So it's not pollinated at all. Let me see right here. Yeah, same thing right here. As you can see, there's only a few fruits on that fruit body. Yeah, it's not really pollinated. And it makes sense because I haven't really seen any bees around, which is pretty sad. Um, and then the lily of the valley um, is doing well, as usual. Um, the smaller ones are the pink variety, the big ones is the white variety. Ow. And then the blueberry is doing well too. The leaves are expanding. Um, and as you can see, the fruits are getting rounder. It's not flat anymore. So the blueberries are developing now. 
which is exciting because blueberries are one of my favorite berries. And here we have more blueberries. So you can see this is the earlier um, stage and then later on it's going to become rounder like that. Right here we have a few more examples. Right there. Um, what else? This is the uh, clover. As you can see it started flowering which is good because they attract bees. Um, and there's more over here as you can see. I hope we do get some bees though because we do need them. And then the artichoke is doing well but also not too well at the same time because as you can see there's a lot of aphid on the back of the leaves. Um, I'll show you another one over here. There's spider webs. Um, the leaves is big but like as you can see there's a lot of um, aphids over there. And like when I touch this part of the pot it's sticky so it's an indication of um, <coughs> aphid infestation. Probably need to get some ladybugs. That'll probably be better for the plants. Um, and then right here, this hydrangea. It appears it's gonna be a little towards more purple flower. Right here, as you can see, it's definitely kind of purple. So, not really pink, I guess. Which is good. We have a different color. That one's pink over there. And then we have the bluer purple version. That one, the pink one. The asparagus is uh, doing well. Um, as you can see, most of the flower has gone away. Um, now it's just mostly the leaves. Right here, this is the smaller one, still going. The tulips are pretty much done um, dying back, so I could put these away pretty soon. Um, and then this blueberry over here, as you can see, there's not a lot of blueberries alive or like the actual fruits as you can see right here we have some but then most of them are just not not fertilized or anything and then we have hyacinth over here it's still dying back right here yeah hyacinth um, rhubarb still the same thing I'm not sure what they're supposed to be doing now hmm Maybe I have to look into this online. Yeah, I do have to because it's not really doing anything now. I don't think so. Poppy, um, some uh, a lot of new seedlings over there, as you can see. Right here we have a lot. And then this is the main, the older plant. A lot of aphids as well. Right there you can see a few. But yeah, the plant is healthy. Pretty sturdy actually, which is good. And then the strawberry, still have to get to it, um, but doesn't really have time. Oh, there's something interesting over there. You see those bubbles right there? wonder what those are. Could be some sort of insect thing. Right there, do you see that? Interesting. And then the crocus is pretty much done dying back as well. So maybe I can put all of these away next week, pretty soon. Oh, what is this? Interesting, probably just some sort of weed. But yeah, this is pretty much dying, dying back. This morning glory over here is getting bigger, as you can see. Hopefully we can get this climbing on the net I set up. Probably gonna seed more other um, vine plants in this one. And that's for the outdoor portion. And that's for the indoor portion. Um, this, uh, this orchid is doing well, as you can see. New growth over here. I'm not sure if it's gonna produce any flower on both of these. But then the flower is still here. It's been a while, so that's a good sign. Uh, and then this one, I'm not sure if there's gonna be any new growth though. It's still green, but don't really see any new growth. And then we have the the fern over here. It's 
definitely doing well. A lot of new leaves coming up, and the leaves are pretty big, as you can see. And then this orchid over here, um, it's doing well too. I think this is leaf, but it, I think I feel like it's kind of struggling to to open up. Do I need to help it? I don't know. It's weird. Don't know what to do. Probably just gonna leave it like that for now. And then the peacock plant is still doing well. Um, new leaves over here. There's another new leaf over there. Um, this fern, I think it's gonna die for sure. Mm. I don't know why. Pretty sad. Gonna have to look into this as well. Yeah, we have a lot of plants dying, which is sad. And then the succulents are doing well. And then here we have the stone pine, it's doing well. Um, I'm surprised it's actually doing this well indoor. And then this uh, orchid over here is doing well too. Probably need to water it. It's pretty dry. The Hoya plant still growing. New leaves are looking pretty good. I'm um, probably gonna need to water this too. It's pretty dry. And then this one is still growing, which is good. Water this too. Orchid is pretty dry, so I have to water all of these, but then they're all pretty much the same. They're all doing pretty well. And then I'm very excited for this flower, this new flower spike over here. Yeah. Spider plants, same thing. This fern, same thing. I just need to water it. 